Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, where we explore the extraordinary and the divine. Have you ever wondered about the mysteries hidden within ancient scriptures? Join us as we embark on a journey through time and text, revealing the secrets that lie within the sacred pages. The Bible holds a sacred place in the hearts of over 2 billion Christians worldwide, revered as the divine word of God and a source of spiritual wisdom and guidance. Yet, within its pages lie some truly peculiar narratives. When the realm of the supernatural intersects with reality, the bounds of possibility are stretched. While tales such as Moses's plague of frogs, Samson's Herculean feats, and the apocalyptic visions of Revelation are widely known, there are lesser-known passages that venture into even more bizarre territory. These unusual stories are often omitted from Sunday school lessons, perhaps for fear of eliciting giggles rather than reverence. However, it's conceivable that a touch of divine humor was intended in these odd yet enlightening episodes from biblical lore. Prepare to delve into six of the most astonishingly odd moments found in the scriptures. Stay tuned, and let's delve into the unknown together. 1. Bears and Baldies In the annals of biblical narratives, there's a prophet named Elisha, known for his profound connection with the divine. His role was pivotal as he served as a conduit between God and the people of Israel, imparting wisdom, teaching, and performing wondrous deeds. These acts were often benevolent, reviving the deceased, healing the sick, and multiplying food to feed the hungry, miracles reminiscent of those attributed to Jesus. However, there's an unusual tale involving Elisha. It's recorded in 2 Kings 2 verse 24 that while he was journeying to Bethel, he encountered a group of youths who mocked his baldness, shouting, Go up, you baldhead. The story takes a grim turn as Elisha, looking back at them, curses them in the name of the Lord. Subsequently, two she-bears emerge from the forest and maul 42 of the youths. This peculiar episode serves as a stark reminder of the respect due to prophets and the unexpected ways in which divine power may manifest. To the talking donkey. The tale of Balaam and his donkey is one of the more curious episodes in the Bible. Balaam, a prophet who was not above using his divine connection for personal gain, agreed to curse the Israelites for King Balak's reward. Unlike the benevolent Elisha, Balaam's intentions were far from noble. God, however, was not in favor of Balaam's plan. After persistent entreaties, God permitted Balaam to accompany Balak's men but instructed him to speak only God's words. The narrative takes a whimsical turn in Numbers 22:21-39. As Balaam set out for Moab, an angel, invisible to him but visible to his donkey, stood ready to thwart his journey. The donkey, seeing the angel, veered off the road, earning Balaam's ire and a beating. This happened thrice, with the donkey reacting to the unseen angel by running away, crushing Balaam's foot, and finally, lying down in refusal to move. In a surprising twist, God enabled the donkey to speak, questioning Balaam's harsh treatment. Balaam, in his frustration, conversed with the donkey as if it were an everyday occurrence. It was only then that God opened Balaam's eyes to the angel's presence, leading to a humbling realization. This peculiar interaction between man and beast highlights a moment of divine intervention and the unexpected ways God can communicate his will, even through a donkey. Balaam's story ends on a note of redemption, albeit through a rather unconventional lesson. 3. A Strange Wedding Gift in the Saga of David, as recounted in 1 Samuel 18 verse 27, we encounter a peculiar matrimonial custom. David, the famed slayer of Goliath, was a beloved figure, his heroism winning the hearts of many. His popularity was such that men and women alike were drawn to him in admiration. King Saul, initially an admirer, grew envious of David's escalating fame. In an attempt to rid himself of this rival, Saul first resorted to treachery, then to a more cunning strategy. He offered David his daughter's hand in marriage, setting a perilous bridal price of 100 Philistine foreskins, hoping to ensnare David in a deadly trap. David, undeterred and perhaps motivated by a mix of valor and love, doubled the challenge, presenting Saul with 200 foreskins. Despite Saul's concealed malice, he honored the agreement, and David married Michael. This narrative, with its blend of romance, danger, and the bizarre, underscores the complexities of royal alliances and the lengths to which one might go for love, or survival, in ancient times. It's a stark reminder that the trials of family dynamics are as old as history itself. For the undead army, the book of Ezekiel is indeed a treasure trove of the extraordinary, and it contains one of the most surreal episodes in the Bible. Ezekiel, a priest-turned-prophet, experienced some of the most astonishing divine encounters. One such encounter is like a scene straight out of a supernatural thriller. In a vision, Ezekiel is transported to a valley brimming with dry bones. There, he is posed with a question by God, Son of Man, can these bones live? A question that must have left Ezekiel bewildered. Following God's command, Ezekiel speaks to the bones, and what unfolds is nothing short of miraculous. A sound of rattling fills the valley as bones come together, forming skeletons. 
sinews, muscles, and skin materialize, clothing the once lifeless frames. Then, at God's behest, Ezekiel calls upon the breath of life to enter these bodies, and before him stands a vast, resurrected army. This vision, as recorded in Ezekiel 37 verses 1 to 14, serves as a powerful allegory for the revitalization of the Israelites. It's a dramatic portrayal of resurrection and hope, and indeed, it could be seen as the script for the original, zombie, narrative in literature. 5. The Terrifying Cherubim If you think the concept of an undead army is the most bizarre aspect of the book of Ezekiel, prepare for a surprise. Ezekiel's visions also include encounters with cherubim, but these are not your typical angels. Contrary to the common misconception of cherubim as plump, infantile figures with wings, a portrayal derived from classical arts Pudo, which symbolizes influence over human affairs, the biblical depiction is far more formidable. According to Ezekiel 1, true cherubim are complex beings with four distinct faces, that of a human, a lion, an ox, and an eagle. They possess four wings, and accompanying them are extraordinary wheels described as sparkling like topaz. These wheels, one next to each cherub, are designed as a wheel within a wheel, allowing movement in any direction without the need to turn, mirroring the cherubim's own directional flow. The most striking feature, however, is their appearance, both the cherubim and their wheels are covered in eyes all over. Imagine encountering these immense, four-faced entities, their bodies and the wheels they ride upon entirely bedecked with eyes. It's a vision that would be quite unsettling, especially if such a celestial being were to appear in the stillness of your room at night. Indeed, these cherubim are a far cry from the cuddly cherubs of popular imagination. 6. Fishy Funds Jesus' life and teachings are central to the Bible, marked by profound acts of kindness. He is known for his miraculous healings, bringing the dead back to life, and ultimately sacrificing himself for humanity's redemption. These solemn narratives form the core of the biblical text. Yet, nestled within these grave accounts is an episode that might raise eyebrows for its unusual nature, as recounted in Matthew 17 verses 24 to 27. Upon reaching Capernaum during their travels, Jesus and his disciples were confronted by tax collectors inquiring about the temple tax, a mandatory contribution for all male Israelites over 20. This tax funded the temple's operations. When questioned if Jesus adhered to this tax, Peter affirmed he did. Returning to their lodging, Jesus, aware of the situation, declared their exemption from the tax but chose to pay it to avoid causing any disturbance. However, Jesus' method of payment was far from ordinary. He instructed Peter to fish in the lake, promising that the first catch would yield a four drachma coin in its mouth, sufficient to cover the tax for both of them. Peter followed Jesus' guidance, and sure enough, the fish he caught carried the exact coin needed. It's a moment that blends the divine with the unexpected, reminiscent of a modern-day illusionist spectacle. As we wrap up today's episode on Celestial Chronicles, we leave you with some thought-provoking questions. What do these bizarre moments in the Bible tell us about the nature of the divine? How do they shape our understanding of the spiritual world? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's engage in a celestial conversation. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mystical insights. Until next time, keep pondering the wonders of the scriptures.